subscribe right now. Girl, let's talk about it. So Lonnie Love, you guys know she's been going through a lot lately. Um, she was talking about black men and how they cheat and everything, right? And um, you know what? A lot of black men came after her. They was doing talk shows, girl, about her. So she's clapping back. But you know what I want to talk about and I want to say? People pick and choose what they want to talk about and who they want to go for, right? You know, uh, I can't get my words together to say what I really want to say. But I do want to say some stuff, but I can't get my words together right now. So I will read it, okay? Some folks are so mad I have a dude that likes me for me. I joke. I drink, but I know I am black. Get over it. I hope you all find some type of happiness, baby. All right? So um, before we go on to the next clip, what do you guys think about that? Some folks are so mad. I have a dude that likes me for me. Do you feel like people are mad at her because she has a man that loves her, uplifts her, inspires her, and not ashamed of her, and not trying to change her, saying, well, you need to lose some weight, where well, you need to be more sexual to me, where well, you need to be more submissive, where well, you need not to talk so damn much, where well, you need not to be so damn loud. You know, and uh, same like that man just accepts her for her, and when when people diss you and you don't fall into their narration what they think you should be and think you should act in order to gain a man and you don't do that and you get a man that really loves you and care about you, I'm sure it will piss a lot of people off. I've seen it with my own eyes in those type of situations where, yeah, they're like, how the hell she get a, a, a such and such? He's stupid for loving her. You hear it all the time. They call these men simps, I'm assuming, and I don't even know what a simp is, but um, they call Russell, what's his name, Russell Wilson? Russ, somebody, Sierra's boyfriend, they call him a simp. Uh, and it is, listen, I'm sorry to tell y'all this, but it is men out here that talk to other men that tell these men, nah, you getting feelings for her. You need to change that dog. No, nah, you don't have these feelings for these hoes. No, nah, you need to go find somebody else. You need to have another girl on the side. Don't get no feelings for you. They, they preach to each other. Do not have feelings for you. Don't fall in love with you. Don't care about you like that. Keep it at a distance, you know? I don't know if they have fear of falling in love or of, of mistrust or they just never want to give in to, I, shit, I don't know. You know, but I do know it is a definitely a gender out here where these men are talking to these other men. And um, it's an agenda not to give their heart to women and not to fall in love with women and not to give their all to women and not to... Um, you know, be faithful. You know, these men talk to each other on the side and nah, dog, that ain't the, that ain't the right move. You know, I, shit, I, I, I overhear shit. I do. They don't think I'm listening, but I'm listening. So, um, yeah. So let's go here. Let's go to the next one. Um, here we go. And, um, she says date night with Jim. He talks, I drink. Okay. Um, that's what it is. It seems like they have a very comfortable relationship. It seems like she's happy. He seems like he's happy. And um, it seems like, you know, this is going to last for a long time. It, I hope it lasts for a long time. I'm happy that she's happy. No, I'm not, I don't care for everything that comes out of Lonnie's mouth. But um, in this situation, in this, you know, how she feel about her, her, her boyfriend or whatever... I'm for her. I'm happy that she's happy. And, um, you know, I guess let's go in the comment section. Because it is something I want to say, but I don't want to mix my words up. And y'all, don't you know how you have something you want to say, but you fear that you're going to mix your words up so you don't say it? Right. So that's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, trust me, when I say this, I can speak for everyone when I say no one cares. 
No, you can't speak for everybody. I care. I care that she's happy. I like to see people in their happiness. And I like to see women like this that doesn't fall into this narration of what um, certain people feel like you have to be in order to be in a relationship. You know, they want you to look like Alexis Scott, but shit. You see Alexis Scott, she, she not in a good relationship. And the relationship she have is very toxic. You know, some people want that type of bull crap, but I, I would never dream and want that. So, um, often too genuine, uh, love comes in a form of different forms, what we desire or hope for. Okay. Uh, was anyone thinking about her? I don't think black men really care about this trade, especially now that Rihanna is a free agent again. Okay. I feel like she is trying to convince us that her relationship is more amazing than it really is. I don't feel that way. I feel like um, she's not out here, you know, living lavish with, um, you know, I, I feel like those type of relationships when we see the uh, Instagrams and they got lavish parties, just like, uh, what's his name? Safari and Erica. I think they try to convinced that they're living lavish and everything is peachy clean to me that's more advertising i mean this picture of her she just look regular daggler she's in her own comfort zone <laughs> she's not wearing anything fashion for his pictures are just your average american people you know he have glasses on it's not like he's trying to be suave she's not trying to be all cute you know so I, I don't try to think, I, I don't think their effort here is to convince people that it's amazing because it doesn't come off as amazing. They don't come off as royalty. They just come off as your average people in a relationship. That's it. That's all I see. You know, people accepting people for their flaws and all and loving it in spite of, you know, and not trying to change each other. That's what I see. I don't see she's trying to be like this idea of perfect, sexy person. And he's trying to be this suave, sexy idea person and overly macho. And I don't, I don't get that from this. You know, she just expressing that she's happy about this relationship, you know. And um, I feel like she have a lot of backlash with people coming against her saying you ain't gonna never have happiness you ain't gonna never get a man you ain't gonna never do this you ain't gonna never do that and you need to change you and you need to do this and she has just realized you know what all this narration that people told me when i was little it's a false narrative you know and yes she probably did believe some of the bull crap that people force down you and push as an agenda as you need to be X, Y, and Z as a woman to get a man to even care and love you. And she's just now breaking that boundary and realizing it's, it's a false narrative. And it seemed like she just want to let people know, Hey, I got my man. I ain't changed. I'm still the same. And listen, he loves me flaws and all. That's just what it reads out to me, you know, but uh-huh okay he's cute nobody cares you have a man but what do we care about is you talking about black men negatively on a, a huge platform i love i love all love so don't at me okay um so do you think that she's saying that black men she is that negative or is that her uh, perspective on what she have dealt with you know I feel like this, when um, these rappers talk about women in a negative light, these men don't come out in droves talking about some, well, why are you talking about these women? You shouldn't talk about, they, they don't care. <laughs> when these men in the NFL cheat on their wife and do their wife horrible and disrespect, they don't come out in droves. Man, you, you, you are a reflection of the black male community. You need to stop this. Do you embarrass? They don't care. Mm, I, I feel like people just pick and choose what they want to cap about because at the end of the day, if a person is displaying um, some negativity acts in their African-American, it's still 
I would I would assume bad press, you know, and you would want to stop bad press. The reason why you're coming after Lonnie because you feel like she's putting out bad press about a group, okay? But these rappers, they put out bad press about black women all the time. They call them out their name all the time. Nobody's going to come after them. Um, these rappers talk about them damn self all the time, but ain't nobody going to come after them. Um, certain female comedians, they cannot do a comedian stand up without referring to themselves as the B word or we call another women B word. Ain't nobody coming after them, you know? So <laughs> I, people pick and choose. And, um, unfortunately if a girl says something, you know, it's, she's going to get more attacked more. It's always been like that. And we are definitely seeing it here in this situation. So, um, I thought he left her. She's so pressed. It's not one care about your white oppressor. We care about that sloppy comment you made against black men. Okay. So people don't like the fact that she says that black men cheats. And um, don't know how to handle a relationship, you know? So what do you guys think about that, people? So what would you have rather her said? I guess they'd rather her say that all men cheat. And I guess they'd rather her not even mention men cheat at all just to leave it alone. Um, and just to focus on women. Maybe if she would have said, you know, these women need to start presenting themselves right and acting accordingly so they won't get cheated on, maybe they'd be happy with that. I'm sure if she would have said that, the men wouldn't have came out and they wouldn't have said shit. If she would have said that women need to behave themselves more mannerable and do X, Y, and Z at the home so the man won't cheat, Men would not say nothing about that. They'd just leave it alone. People pick and choose what they want to say about. So comment, let us know what you guys think about this, and I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.